All right, so who was the first one? Was it Ginger? Did you say you have a coronavirus joke? I do have a coronavirus joke. I've got three, so I pray okay. it's not one of mine, but go ahead. Well, let's see. So do you know why everyone needs so much toilet paper during the coronavirus? No. Well, because when one person sneezes, the other four around them take a crap. <laughs> <laughs> was that one of your three? It wasn't, uh, it wasn't. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you, actually Henry got these. So if they suck, <laughs> it was Henry. All right. well, wait, wait a second. Uh, Are we supposed to take a drink after each joke? Is this how it works? Or? Yeah, that yeah, we works. Should. We, well, it depends how the jokes go. I, I get the feeling the jokes are going to get worse. Um, <laughs> so I'll, here, here you go. I'll tell you a coro coronavirus joke now but it will take two weeks to see if you get it. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Yeah, I told you I'm it definitely bad. drinking on that. I, I'm not here. as fancy as you. We got the little fireball <laughs> shot things going on here. Oh, that's so, good. You know, hey. oh, look, we've got the bullets being <laughs> held up. the whole bottle. <laughs> hey, it's all there. It's all good. It's all good. We got, for all of you people joining out, this is, this is excellent. This is wonderful. So I'm going to show you first, just to kick it off, how I do an old fashioned because it is a very, very simple drink, but I'm absolutely stunned how many people get it wrong. All right. So here you go. This is my after afterlife um, business, I think. So first of all, everyone's been asking me, what whiskey do you use? Now in old fashions, a lot of people use rye. For me, I use bourbon because I like it a bit heavier and smokier. Some of you are already on the waz already. Good for you. The bottom line of it is, the bottom rule of thumb is if you wouldn't drink it straight, it's not going to get any better than a bloody cocktail. All right? <laughs> so that's the first rule of thumb. So here, here's how it goes. And it's a very simple thing. I always do two at a time in a mixing glass. Snaps, scrappy bitters are my favorite bitters. And I'm doubling up here because I'm doing two drinks at once. So usually it's just two dashes. But as I say, we're doubling up. That's my excuse, because I'm an alcoholic. I've always got a dash of water in there. Fancy spoon. Now, one scoop of white sugar. Some people like brown. I don't know why. I've tried the both. Also, sugar syrup. But it just kind of loses a little bit of body for me on that one. So I don't really usually go in for that. And this is where it gets uh, nice and sexy. I'm, I've actually got recently into the small batch Four Roses. I try a lot of different bourbons, as I've mentioned, because I'm an alcoholic. But um, <laughs> I like the bullet. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, right, okay. I thought you was like, yeah, the, the, the scream of the alcoholics out there. <laughs> oh, we, all, we all will be if we aren't before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's supposed to be two ounces uh, per glass. You know, don't be tight. If you end up just over two ounces, that's good. And here's the real kicker for my drinks. Don't be tight. My mother-in-law is an alcoholic. <laughs> Don't so be tight. That's not what he said. We actually call it the Bernice Kiss. Her name's Bernice. So we actually, uh, we, ju we just give what we call the Bernice Kiss. So put a couple of two ounces in there, but shove a little bit in for your mother-in-law. <laughs> right, so that's, that's the drink. Can you grab me some ice? <laughs> so you've got to get... Now, I knew that we had males and females on this call. So, my son drinks wine. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm going for more wine because I don't have all the ingredients. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm loving too. this screen. This is incredible. So, we give this a good old stir. There's nothing wrong with a good glass of wine. But you know what? I need That's a stir. Right. Yeah, there's old, old David Jensen's here <laughs> defending wine. If David Jensen's yeah. defending wine, I'm not quite sure that's the appropriate defense. <laughs> but anyway. So here we go. I've got my bottle too. Good, good, good. It's so nice to see your smiling face, oh. by the way. This is what you call an ice king. Okay? Yeah. If it's basically going to knock you off your push bike, that's an ice uh -huh. holding up your ice cubes. Good, good. Right. Now, here's something very important. Did you chip that off a glacier? Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> here's what I did today. <laughs> so, Oops. this is the key thing. It's a peel. If you're in a bar, 
and they put a slice in there and start muddling them. Tell them that you didn't ask for jamba juice. You weren't asking for a <laughs> So it's the peel around the top. It's not that hard, really. I'm surprised. As I say, nice lump of ice. Now, this ice is so big that I have to warm the corners of it to get it into the glass. You already got people threatening you with a knife. Look at this. That is, look at that. You can't even get the bastard in the, in the glass. Henry's already drinking his wine. Oh, did that just crack? Uh, Henry, is that you? You still got the Titanic. Uh, oh, that another, that man. Man. <laughs> another glass. I've just broke that glass. That glass Steve, did you put the whacked. Did because you put of the, the size wine? of the ice cube. Did you put the peel in the drink? You know, there's off, yeah, I do. I just, um, and the thing is to, as you put Squeeze it in there, it. just twist it. So a little yeah. bit of the, um, I don't know zest. what you call it, the, the zest. Zest, zest. The zest. <laughs> and it goes in. But I've actually just, yeah, that's a weird one. I'll have to complain to those boys. <sighs> so while Henry gets another, another glass for me. Do you wash your hands recently, bud? Oh, just <laughs> <laughs> just pour distancing. the alcohol over your hands. You'll exactly. be good, bud. I will yeah. do. I will do. I am nine tenths alcohol, so I think I'm good. All right. <laughs> so let's get this on there again. Oh, where's this? Hey, Steve. Yeah. I thought you would like this uh, because oh, it okay. explodes. This is a uh, a wine bottle opener that you stick in. And then you push down. Ooh, Jesus Christ. CO2. <laughs> I still can't <laughs> a bloody good nice, It's a nice little self-defense weapon on the side, too. Uh, if anybody yeah. sneaks up on you, just jab them. You're good to go. <laughs> That's a pretty defensive <laughs> thing. But again, it's the issue there, David, is it's still for wine. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the problem. Hey, you know, you if I needed a drink for my wife, then maybe I would ask. You got me drinking old fashioned too. I just don't drink them at home because I don't know how to make them. So that's why I'm here to learn. Well, you do now. So we yeah. give this a good old stir, and then this is how it slides in. And that little baby there. Ooh, that's a good one. Look uh, at do that. Do you think this is enough, Steve? Is this enough? Oh, I love, yeah, I love the point. Yeah, <laughs> Just stick a cube of ice in that and that's good enough. Yeah, yeah. That'll get you started. Cheers, It'll work tonight. Cheers. And this and this. <laughs> Cheers. Both scrappies. All right, so let's, um, all right, who else has got a, a joke before I go into my um, second <laughs> I don't have a joke, but I have an observation. Give us an I observation, and Bill. So flipping much, my eighth grade uh, math test came up on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I actually so John to there. I apologize to Bill, and I apologize to John for that. <laughs> <laughs> John's actually a repeat offender that keeps on coming to prison with us. So I like, you know, but you know what, Steve? Next time, I'm the one that's on top. <laughs> oh, oh, you're getting picky now, are you? You're getting picky. <laughs> Someone started drinking. Picky last time. <laughs> All right, so he, he, he uh, before everybody gets drunk. What? Who said that? Oh, there's there he is, Rockshawn. Uh oh, Rockshawn, good to see you, man. Good to see you. We got some good ones. In. This is a this is a pretty unique group. We got tomorrow. We we got Neil in there. Neil's all quiet. Um. Look at them, there's some decent. I just, not told Sabrina, I just told Sabrina all I mean. that she came down and have a drink with us. I'm like, I got sake in the, because she only likes sake. I'm like, I don't know, Steve and Henry, you need to come down and have a drink with us. <laughs> it's got to be done. It's got to be done. So <laughs> You're going to have to start your own right. Uber yeah. company to, to, to bring no, people home and have to be drinking. Pretend I'm not. You know, I, have you been getting all of the restaurants sending you out um, that you can pick up curbside at some of your favorite restaurants? Mm -hmm. yeah. Fargo, because I'm, you know, a, a very hoity toity posh person, <laughs> Fargo actually sent out an email today that they are selling these big bottles, bigger than this, of Negroni Manhattans or old, fa old fashions already pre knocked up. I love that kind of creativity. Pre knocked up, I like that. 
I'm wondering if those things are going to become collector's items. Oh, they could. I don't know. <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of creativity out there, isn't there? Yeah. A lot of people do it. All right, so let's give you another one of, uh, here you go, pick, pick your favorite one and you tell them a joke. Which one did you do? I did the- uh, Here's uh, my joke. Two weeks to get it. Two weeks to get so it. So there you go. Uh, that was my favorite one. I know, that's why I read it. All righty, so due to the coronavirus, oh, there we go. I recently ran out of toilet paper and had to start using old newspapers. And boy, the times are rough. <laughs> oh, God, Look at oh, I have. Oh, oh, I expect more out of you, Henry, than that. Look how much Corona I have in my office in DC. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five cases. <laughs> for you. Are they wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's it's for currency, you know, when the world ends. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> are they giving God, away for free now? People are like, you, you, this is horribly. Wait a second, did anyone time. just pick up Brian throwing his drink all over himself? Yes. That was a yeah, 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 yeah. Cut off. Riley, what just you happened there? You <laughs> cut off. <laughs> oh, oh, miss that. Miss, I'll, I'll check that out on the rewind. Yeah, That's I gotta look. That's to our attention. <laughs> Oh, we no. have a, a local brewery that is, you just bring your growler and they'll fill it up for you. Nice. Where is that? It's in uh, DuPont, Washington, outside of George Bay, Lewis McCord. And it's is really everybody, cool. Is everybody here on lockdown? Is everyone here on, um, um, what is it, home quarantine? Because I heard today that Boston still wasn't, yeah. and Florida only went into it last night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we are. DC <laughs> has only been like uh, 24 hours. Has it? Yeah. Wow. I think. We but have I'm started on the time the floor of my building, so I'm like totally in quarantine. Um, nobody's here, and I'm having a great time. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. I have. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's, uh, let's ask. Let's ask a serious question here. How many? How many times have you kind of gone? This isn't too bad, just to, as an excuse, just to stay the hell away from people and just get on with my own. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. I was supposed to be with you all day today, Steve, so thank you. Francisco. God. Oh. Yeah, I know. Uh, Dave, we were supposed to be. Hey, Dave, do you want to tell people where? Because, like, Dave runs a, um, he's got a great organization, he's got a convention. Um, he had been drinking heavily, and during that drunk moment, he invited me to speak at his event. And it was supposed to be now, and of course it's it's blown out because of this corona thing. But where are you thinking of putting it, David? Where am I thinking of putting it? <laughs> yeah, because it was gonna be in Arizona, wasn't it? And aren't you moving the location? Yeah, I'm looking at just doing it in my backyard here in Miami. <laughs> so there you go. So later on in the year we're gonna go to Miami. And Francisco Francisco, me and you, we met in um Phuket, oh, yeah. Thailand, when I was speaking at uh, Travis Chapel's event just over a year ago. We're watching, are you getting the Facebook memories from last year? We're all in clampdown, and yet there's pictures of us in Phuket getting drunk in the wrong places. <laughs> it's ridiculous, yeah. isn't it? I'll drunk in the wrong places. places. Like, high marketplace we went to when it was like locked down, like political a campaign was going on. So like the whole country had like a, like it was like a dry couple days, no alcohol sales. And we wandered in like the high marketplace found like in the middle of everything this like old country bar that was still selling liquor so me and steve and travis and a couple others like hunkered down there and we're just like tossing them back and like chatting because the only place we get any alcohol on the island at that time it's a good time it was ridiculous they were actually selling cowboy boots weren't they <laughs> it was a, it was a thai market in phuket and you know i won't it was, certainly wasn't one of the posh not that there is a posh thai market yeah. it was a it was just one around the corner. It was like a local neighborhood thing. And I don't know if it was a, a birthday or a death. I don't want to be rude. But there was a clampdown on alcohol for that night. We found the only place that didn't give a shit and found four <laughs> drunken foreigners that wanted to get past. Yeah. I, again, love that creativity. All right. So who else? Hey, did you already make the old fashioned, Steve? Yeah, you oh, someone's late to the party. Who's doing that? Uh, it's, it's, it's BW, I man. I think I've enough ice now. Did you, oh, did you already make it? Look at I, this. Got a, I got a joke that's not a corona joke. Look at this. We already lost a glass. 
as collateral damage due to the size of this. <laughs> Look, I, I know I'm late to the party, Steve, but can you please show us how you make an old fashioned man? Oh, well. Okay, quickly. And I'll put this on. This recording will go on so you can live in humility for the rest of your life being shown up. But yeah. Didn't you have your boy uh, from, F from uh, San Francisco making that? Two ounces of that. All right. A, um, a teaspoon of sugar. Two dashes of Snappy's bitters. If you put a cherry in it, don't call me again. <laughs> a, slice, a slice of orange. You don't muddle this thing. And not not, not a slice. Uh, you uh, can drink wine. Peel. Yes. Not, not a slice, right? Peel. It's a peel. It's literally just a little 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 peel on there. But uh, yeah, it's you're not muddling appealing. this damn thing. In England, Steve, we call I it the pick. The appealing joke. Call it what? Yes. We call it it's the pick. The pit. Oh, working down there. I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> and you have to have an ice cube too. This is really good. It's good to see you go. I like your long hair. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is Henry drinking? <laughs> <laughs> is that Talking cognac? About me with the long hair. Oh, it's wine. <laughs> for this drink. Wine, red wine. He's got oh, he's I thought wine. you had like some cagnacky. <laughs> <laughs> Little I'm Cavathier. It's, so, Steve. It's a work in progress. Hey, Steve, I, I, I can only stay a minute, but I've got a, I've got a non corona joke. It's a really good, bad joke. You want it? Go for it. Go for it, Neil. We'll listen to you anytime. All right. So, two cell phone towers meet each other and they fall in love. No. And they decide that they're going to get married. Okay. The ceremony was really boring, but the reception. <laughs> what? That was excellent. Oh, <laughs> I, I like that. Block him, Steve. That was good. That was good. Yeah, Joe. Get out, Chase, the meal. Right on, man. Say the love of yourself. So who else has got jokes? And the, the more inappropriate, the, the more I like parent, mum and dad joke, the better. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in the meantime, quick way to get the right pour. Measured, measured pour. I like that. I like your dedication. So there's, a, there's a new, uh, everybody. Hi, everybody. Who, so what? You're still pouring. I, 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 I had to had to reset it. That one isn't DC for you. The that, new that's pretty that's pretty cool. I'm glad to see that we attract so many alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I have one for you. Look, um, I got in trouble for this, but whatever. <laughs> Since I'm in forced quarantine, one second. Oh, this is my end of the world. Uh, survival kit and here's like the coronas that we drank to kick everything off <laughs> like on St. Patty's Day when I bought all five St. Patty's Day drinking Mexican I'm actually pleased of the coronavirus today during, uh, this year because of St. Patty's Day because it stopped so many American pricks trying to put on a stupid British accent <laughs> <laughs> Quite happy about yes! that, weren't you? Yes! Yes! Come on! Oh, no! No! <laughs> Every year we have to an stand Irish there thing, while they come up to you and they go, ah, yeah. top of the morning. <laughs> wait, wait, and you've got to explain what is the whole green drink thing? What the hell's that about? What are you doing? They make it up as they go along, Laura. You know, no one can tell them. <laughs> Here's the hand sanitizer. All right, so any more? We've got one more in here, haven't we? Oh. I saved my last bottle of my life. Right. What? Someone's got a joke coming in? Actually, I've got some there's people chatting here. Oh, there's loads of people chatting. And I saved my last shot of wood for sure. I took old fashioned. Ah, oh, there's loads of people here. That's good. 
That's good. That's good. So here's let's run a little uh, chart I'll, now. I'll put my joke in the the chat because nobody can hear. Well, we can hear you now. So tell us the joke. Okay. <laughs> so the new accepted greeting. So you know, some people want to give a handshake. That's like a hundred percent germs. Fist bump, ninety percent. Elbow, eighty percent. The new accepted greeting for everybody. Hey, you still got <laughs> <laughs> Huh? No germs. Play. No germs. Germ free. Germ free. I like that. I like that. <laughs> hey, Steve, Look I'm really up. glad you showed us how to make an old fashioned and not how to draw a bath. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's next week. Depends how long we're going to be here. We yeah. should do a virtual summit in the shower. Yeah, later tonight, if we can. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Stand prepared for the end of the world. It should be. So how long do we think, let's run a little um, chart now. How long do you think this is going to go on for? Oh, no. you, could, you should start one of those pools. Do the whole thing as far as like you do for the Super Bowl. And we can all get squares. That's right. We should do stupid shit prizes and run a poll. And the one that gets closest get to pick the crap prize they like. <laughs> I like that. I like that very much. You make them an old fashioned personally. <laughs> would anyone yeah, I think that? it's going to no go until the go, pandemic is over? I Who's your boy in San really? Francisco that can make an old fashioned? Can it? Why are you talking to me? I couldn't hear you. Say again. Uh, I said I'll take the over on the 21 days Amy put in the chat. All right. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So we got a jokes. weekend ahead. What is the most creative thing? that you enjoy during this this um this lockdown has anyone tried anything I'll, I'll go first i actually um there were some people some people that thought i was a bit chubby <laughs> <laughs> so i actually got a peloton and i've been on this peloton bike every day that's why i'm looking lean and mean now <laughs> One of my benefits is that by the arse end of this, I would have lost weight and started to, to look a lot better. So what have you been able to do during these days that you can impact you as we come out? You want to say? That's reading. My wife, my wife decided All right, good reading. Read, yeah, good. My wife decided to start doing intermittent fasting just to prepare. So now we're all starving around the house. <laughs> you have toilet paper. <laughs> we shopped at Costco the week before we went crazy. <laughs> hey, intermittent fasting's good for you, man. I've been losing a pound a day. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> and intermittent fasting is great for you. I've been losing a pound a day just by doing that. I, I, I don't do it, but I've heard about it. <laughs> Shoot. One or two meals a day, perfect. Yeah, yeah. For who? Yeah, I, I generally don't eat. Until Drink it's some like coffee. Long. Don't yeah. eat breakfast. Yeah. yeah, she's got us drinking a cup of coffee with a slice of butter, and then going eighteen hours with no food, and then you can eat whatever you want in the in the opposing window. There. Exactly. It's perfect. okay. But my my question is: Do those meals include our alcohol content? Yeah. Good point. Good wife, point. Part of that you don't add liquid calories. Yeah. No, I was gonna say I also lose about a pound a day doing intermittent fasting, but then I start drinking at 8 p.m. and then I gain it all back. Uh, Amy, that was awesome when I asked that you sipped your red wine as I sipped mine. That was amazing. What? I had the intermittent fast. There were two of you that sipped red paper. wine at the time. Oh. <laughs> could, 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 yeah. It was it was very nice of you. I told you the ladies. <laughs> I've been having fun with my toys, all my uh, virtual reality headsets that everyone used to make fun of me for, and now I'm here, able to like have this penthouse of a place on the tenth floor, the entire tenth floor, with all of my gear, <laughs> and no one's laughing now. They're like, "Oh, can you come help us?" I'm like, "No, no, I can virtually help you. Look." <laughs> hey, you know, we're all supposed to, you know, I don't want to, 
I don't want to moan or anything, but we're all supposed to reach out and connect with people that we've connected with for quite a while. Okay? We know that we're supposed to do that. But how many of you are getting texts and phone calls and videos from assholes you never wanted to speak with in the first place? <laughs> And, uh, yep. I got two from you today, Steve. Huh? I got two from you today. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm getting, pe I'm getting texts from people. I'm like, I never spoke to you when there wasn't a virus. Why would I want to speak to you now? <laughs> That's hilarious. But it's true, isn't it? It is true. It is. It's true. Yeah, but the good th the good thing is now you you have caller ID or you can at least you know decide who you want to pick up from. That's that's true. That's true. But there's a lot of people that are doing it through different methods and they're sending it like texts to all over the place and Facebook messages. So people are coming at you from all different directions now. So I literally it's tough just, now. I literally just got one while we've been on this on this Zoom. I just came in. I was like, uh, no, thank you. From an arsehole you didn't want to speak to. 100%. Yeah, there's, they, they come out of woodwork. It's like the Oscars. Uh, this, this was my, um, this was the last year that I did anything without Elton John's Oscar party. But every single year, the middle of January, I would hear from all the pricks that I've never spoken to for the past year, going, hey, Steve, I'm in LA if you need someone. And I'm thinking, why would I choose you? But, hey, it happens. People try their luck. Lucky. You do. I, hey, Laura, are you still in uh, DC? I am. I'm still in DC. Still here. I remember that rooftop you took me up to. Did it overlook the White House or the Capitol? Yeah, it was. It was the W. Was it? What was it? What did it overlook? The, the White House. That's the POV lounge. That's the yeah. POV lounge. Yeah, the White House. Yeah, that was really cool. I, I, I Someone mentioned something to me about DC because I was supposed to be speaking up there and I was going to reach out to you, but of course it got cancelled again. But I do remember that time. That was a really cool uh, view and stuff. Being a Brit, I don't know too much about DC, but I know where you can get a good drink and a good view. Okay. Same. Yeah, that's about all I know too. And the more you have of number one, you don't really care and ask. You don't really give a crap about number two. Yeah. You don't. You don't. The more you drink, the more you want to hang out with David Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> You're the one there with your wine. I'm surprised you haven't got an umbrella on it. I can see the White House from here. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually getting, it's really cool. We're getting people kind of like leaving because they've obviously been insulted enough, and we're, we're getting newbies coming in. There's almost 40 people in here. How many? 40. 40, nice. Wow. Nice. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go and tell my wife I'm impressive, and she's not going to believe it. <laughs> if any of you have met her, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think the line of the night so far is the woman who shortly ago said, I'm just up here with all my toys. He's not included. Oh, I have other toys too, but it's, you know, PG. This is what I'm like, That's for when we do the shower. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys know you're my yeah, that's only what's in here. In the last in the world 15 days, it. I've literally had no contact with any other human being in 15 days. Oh my god! I, my husband of 35 years, who is an amazing person, but I really love this right now. <laughs> so I'm your first in 15 days. Is that what you're saying? Steve. <laughs> 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 yeah. So all those times, hey, just, sorry. just so you know, you're rocking it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a habit. It's got to be the Peloton. <laughs> it's, it's, look, it's a crazy it's little the Peloton. time. I actually, you know, th this is just for everyone to hang, but I actually spoke to, um, and I'm going to post this in the Speakeasy and Entrepreneurs Network, and he'll see it and probably, probably contact me. But I have a client from Ukraine, and, uh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And um, 
he's got a factory and I don't know what he manufactures and I, I don't really care and I'm never going to ask. Um, but I contacted him a couple of weeks ago, about 10 days ago. And I said to him, oh, you know, you okay? You know, how's it going for you out in Ukraine? And he was like, Steve, it is great. It is wonderful. And I thought he'd been <laughs> drinking and it was about 10 o'clock in the morning his time. And he told me how he had been able to turn off all the machines in his factory and update them to 2020 standards. But because, and he bought the factory in 1983 or five, he said, because he had been just updating each one as it broke, he could never update it that would surpass the other machines. So he had to update and maintain 1983 machinery. He oh was God. thrilled, absolutely thrilled that he could stop everything and update every piece of machinery. So there's a lot of people out there that are actually really enjoying this moment. Oh, I am. Who is? <laughs> Who's enjoying it? Me, Chris. Oh, yeah. I'm really enjoying it. Yes. I am on the beach, me. so isolation to me has been amazing. Yeah, there's a yeah, except look. The difference, the, the difference between us is we're sharpening our knives now before we get on the battlefield. The rest of the planet are going to wait for that CNN news alert that the coronavirus is off, and then they're going to go, oh, we've got to get ready, and fuck them, we're already ready. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's true. I like it's that true. point. It's true. It's <laughs> true. We're not sitting on our ass. we got boys reading. we got people intermittent fasting. we got me over here <laughs> bloody doing a peloton. You know, it's just, we're getting better. <laughs> Someone said they're doing yeah. intermittent drinking. I like that one too. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's children under the I age of five and sharpen your knives so then. Chris K is like unpacking an amazing, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I, I want to know what Chris K is me. doing. I wish what you got doing, Chris? salt and he's got all kinds of stuff. Chris salt. K, what are you doing? Yeah. What? What is Chris Tell doing? Me. Chris, She's what is that? I'm throwing a party for the end of the world. No, oh, he's got the salt and everything. It's like, I got it amazing. all, man. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm yeah. I took Steve's advice. Ginger. Oh, good. I look, I got all these bitters. Located? All the different kinds. Oh, everything. Hey, this is Tara. I'm bringing in the kids. <laughs> <laughs> so you, and then you, this, you, you know, you, just in case anybody, any of my what? brothers want to stop by. <laughs> What's this salt for? <laughs> Oh, you it's the tequila. Did you not see the tequila? Today? I missed the tequila. I'm, I'm right. watching this, like, this major things of, oh, nice. So, I know how to throw a party. I'm that's stupid. nice. Yeah, you know, you know, nice. The thing I love about this the most, you guys, and everything everybody's saying and their videos, even just watching people that are silenced, is everybody's positive. And that's what we all need right now is positivity. Yeah. <laughs> And thinking exactly. and what is to come and what can we create from all of this. And I just, I love momentum. momentum. That's what's going to be created is momentum. Yep. Habits. Yeah. Good ha habits. Yeah. Because habits make you. Absolutely. But, but Chris has the bunker that we're all going to. For <laughs> yeah, no seven. kidding. <laughs> Here's my question. I was we're posting we all the Corona um, <clears throat> that I got. They were like, that's really insensitive. I'm like, have a sense of humor. The world's ending. Did you not hear? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the memo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, uh, memo. This shows you I'm in DC. So, so my question is, if, for, if you're at the 14 days, that's Steve. and you guys are at the 14 days, when can we start putting together our 14 day groups? A 14 day group? I'm, I'm in day 15. What are we going to do? No, I mean, it's like, so I've been quarantined for 14 days. I, a week ago, I got back from Atlanta. I've, you know, been staying at home, doing all that kind of stuff. So I'm okay. When can I start merging with other 14-day groups to where we can start getting together? <laughs> let, me ask, let me ask this question. Yeah. It's a very serious question. Yeah. All I want you to do is put your thumb up against the screen. How many of us already work from home? Hmm. 
You see, no one gives a shit. The whole world wants <laughs> to crack. <laughs> They're like, fuck it, we've been doing this for 10 years, you bitch. I know. Right. 1999. You guys That's just figured it out. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm wondering, I'm wondering how many people after this are actually going to go back to work oh or turn God. around to the boss and go, nah, screw you, I'm staying at home. I'll get more yeah. stuff done <laughs> if I travel yeah, be way great. better. For sure. Steve, we're looking at moving all our people home after this and actually getting rid of any of our leases. I've heard so, that. Wow. Let, let me, let you, me, Brandon. Uh, wait, We've let been me, doing this yeah, for 10 years. Here, we took our bricks and mortar business to virtual 10 years ago when people said we were crazy and it could not be done in our industry. So good for you, Brandon. Yeah, um, we, we, had, awesome. we had it virtual. I went brick and mortar, not for walk-in traffic. We were never about that, but just to have, you know, unity. And now we're looking after this to actually, to have more marketing dollars to go back to uh, virtual again. So here's two things, but I'll start with the first one. Brandon Strasser pissed me off earlier this, uh, uh, later, uh, this week. Right? <laughs> because I had actually said to everyone, hey, who wants to get together with a, with a drink? And he announced he was doing one. And I was like, fuck you, you he's my <laughs> You know, you're one of my boys, my pals, and you're doing one. And then he came back to me and he went, Steve, you, you're a dickwad. It's a different time zone. <laughs> well, I would have finished mine. And I was like, okay, I love you again, Brandon. Uh, Bandit, I love you again. <coughs> but you know, the funny thing is, when we've all had recessions, there's no one here that hasn't lived through 9-11, the recessions, and there's been a few ups and downs, and that's what the road of an entrepreneur is. The daft thing is, I came over to Hollywood, over to Los Angeles, in, two, what was it, 2007? six yeah. or seven yeah. we came over here and it was like six months before the recession we moved over here from palm beach Florida, and i didn't have an office and i thought to myself if you're a business <laughs> you need an office no one's going to pay attention to you if you don't have an office but the bottom line of it is they care about what you can do they don't care about the office and as exactly. proven by all of you guys we were at home making incredible impact we're the fucking Hogwarts. We're the X-Men. So yeah. congratulations. Yeah. yeah. And I'm wondering how many people are going to get on the bandwagon. I'm, ha I'm wondering how many people will work from home from now on going, screw it. I'm not going in the office. I get more done here. Right. And I'm wondering how many people are going to give themselves full security thinking that they can handle the ups and downs like entrepreneurs do. Because... I know for a fact, and I'm not asking for you guys to declare it, I, I've been up and down like a horse underpants with money. <laughs> and there's been great times, there's been bad times. But the good thing about when there's a bad time, you know how to make it a good time. And there's no one on this, uh, this what do you call it, a Zoom happy hour, that's negative. <laughs> we all know this shit, and entrepreneurs... We step up and just go, fuck it. This is what we've got. We're going to deal with it. While everyone else has got their head up their ass crying That's over red time. wine. Yeah. No, Chris K's <laughs> office looks pretty good with the candy bars and the Corona she has right now. I know. I know. Right? We're, going down to We're going to Chris's office right yeah. now. Yeah. It looks yeah. like the, the whore's panties are looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm very entertaining. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go to Ginger's. Ginger's is pretty good. Ginger's is pretty good. I feel like as entrepreneurs. Oh, that's my background. So that's I feel that's like as background. entrepreneurs, this is what we train for. Like, this is our okay. Olympiad, you guys. Ooh, we our Olympia. Like, we yeah. know this, and we've been doing this um, for the mar marathon for a long time. And now we can help show others how to come on a board and do this. But this is the shit we've been training for. At least that's why I feel like Kevin and I have been, like, in our business since 2010, we've been doing this. And it's, it's yeah. No different. Now, you, Let's be you honest. Have... We're the preppers of the business world. Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes Ryan. <laughs> I like that. That that's good. Well, I got to tell you, the, uh, the commute around here 
is rough from the bed to the coffee maker to the hot tub. <laughs> now it's the dress code. Ryan's background. <laughs> uh, you're right, you're right. Uh, okay, Chris, I'm sorry. Chris, what is that? <laughs> I, no, it's a, it's, for, it's a joke for Steve. Steve knows. It looks like what, a pump what? of some sort. Awesome. <laughs> a pump. Is that, is that a lemon that? toy? Steve, I'm not going to tell you. You know what this is. It's a condom on a. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a lemon condom. It's a small condom. It's a rope. It's a lemon condom. condom. That's what it is. Uh, it's my mentor. Which is always necessary. From condom to cabbage. Cabbage. Condom. Wait a second. Well, me try. Okay. okay. We he need Chris's address right him. now. We're right. all over Chris's. <laughs> yep. Chris, I, where are you at? Huh? I'm in DC. I'm on no. the 10th floor of WeWork. That's a long this drive from Oregon. Oregon. This is my oh. tiny office. Wait, who else and is in I only pay like Who's in Oregon? Bucks a month. I'm at Ginger's in Oregon. Oh, okay. We'll park. Ginger, you're in Oregon. We're at in Oregon. In Beaverton. 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 Okay. Ginger, you're my neighbor. I'm noticing Guy who's brought the entire oh, family in, so I'm loving that, Gail. Well, thanks for bringing the family in. That's awesome. Hi. I will try and be a PC or, or what is it, like kid, kid friendly. <laughs> <laughs> well, they know you, Gail, so we're good. Steve, I do not think you're kid friendly, but that's good. I'm not sure I understand what you just said. I'm not this kid friendly, in. that's for sure. <laughs> 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 it looks like a giant cartoon character. Watch. Shoot him! Hey, please! Shoot him! You're in the house! Steve, what, is it? what does your boy do? I don't know. <laughs> you know, he right. just gets up and goes, Dad, you know, I'm going to get on a bike, you know. I, I, what do you do? He's the anchor. Marketing, brand positioning, all that kind of stuff. Right up my alley, brother. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm keep your dad organized. So let me give you the story about this uh, oh. this numb nuts here. So <laughs> he went, he went, so there was a period, and I can't believe this, but that he went through that he kind of didn't like me. I know it's weird, <laughs> but you know, it happened. Um, and we you, all you were an engineer, weren't you? In and Oregon, he went to school. Yeah, he went to school. He was one of those people. Um, and so he came He came back and he was so disgruntled that I started taking him, quite simply, to events with you guys. You weirdos, you misfits. And he started hanging out with people that looked at things differently. And then he suddenly came back to me and he went, I'm not going back to college, I'm not doing engineering. I want to make some impact. I want to do some stuff. And he's doing pretty well, you know. He's, um, awesome. he's, getting, he's got his head on straight. Thankfully, he listens to his mum and not me. Um, <laughs> but uh, he, he does all right. So uh, he, has, he has great advice. I mean, so many like of his posts are just so spot on. So keep it up. Ginger, yeah, did he pay you to say that? He did <laughs> not said, pay me to say that. Said. Oh, he does. Okay. Keep it up. I haven't even worked with him yet, but I enjoyed what he had to say to me today. There you go. Yeah, we had a good talk. Yeah. yeah. No, he, Henry has a lot of insight in a way, and he brings a lot as far as perspective. Um, from what I've seen as far as his posts, as far as um, having an idea as far as organization, you have that mind as far as an engineer's mind and yeah. how you organize things, and that comes through and what you're analytics. posting and what you're doing. You can totally see that. And it's we so need true. more of that, especially entrepreneurs, because as entrepreneurs, we tend to be a little fragmented. So being able to rein that in, I know, you grew up with that. <laughs> being able to rein that in is very important. And so it's that yin and yang. And it's important as entrepreneurs to be able to find that balance and sometimes having someone like a Henry on your team can help you to do that. And that's important, especially in times like this, to be able to say, okay, I've got all this stuff going on, now I need to focus in. And that's what you do. I mean, and that's what you post a lot on your social that I see. So good job. 
Thank you. Nope. I'm going to clip that. And just <laughs> we'll clip it. <laughs> are, we, are we all sharing Henry, Steve? <laughs> are you going to that Henry and we can bring him in for a little bit? No, we don't want to blow smoke up him. We don't want to get him any kind of like fuller than he is. And he's drinking wine, so it's all wrong. Henry, let's Take his bike away from him. That That's why he needs more smoke. <laughs> Yo, hey, you know that brings a good point though as far as entrepreneurs in a time like this to be able to look at who can you help mentor through going through times like this because some of us are seasoned you know i've been in the mortgage industry i've been through ups and downs and ins and outs and so you know for myself my marketing assistant who's you know probably henry's age Helping to navigate them through that is important. So looking at that as something to do, I think is a, a good opportunity for us as entrepreneurs. You're, you're absolutely right, Jim. I'm, I'm in the restoration industry, you guys. What does that mean? So, flood fire. So, well, Kevin says flood and fire, but in the restoration industry, what we do is we are the people that are trained. We're actually called second um not first responders, responders but second responders so in the restoration industry we train and teach and train for situations like this pandemic that we're all dealing with and we go come in and we clean sanitize disinfect oh, wow. um wow. help in times of you know hurricanes tornadoes extreme Type I thought you were part of Restoration Hardware. The viruses. Right. <laughs> right. So, so in this and time of need, what we find is that, you know, we're really here to help people in our communities. Um, and so for Kevin and I and our virtual online um, stuff that we do, we have restoration contractors looking to us to say, hey, like, what the hell do we do right now? Like, this is a pandemic that none of us have, have ever seen before. We don't know what to do. We don't know how to market. We don't know how to help and care for our communities. <clears throat> and so, you know, these are just that kind of times that we're, that we're dealing with. And I, I was just really relating what Ginger was saying about helping people in our communities and, and such. So the, the restoration industry that we're in, we help people who are, you know, dealing with um, contamination and virus, which is exactly what we're all dealing oh. with right now on a global community and humanity level. Wow. I, awesome. had, I had no idea we were gonna get that from you. So thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question. How many of you have um, reduced your marketing budget? I just nope. want a thumbs up. No, hell no. I don't have one. Double it. Double I don't have one. Double, double is right. Double. We've double. never marketed. Double down. Double Everyone double down. that I speak to is bailing like, like, you know, an ugly girl at a nightclub. The bottom line <laughs> of it is now we should be focusing like crazy because people need us. They desire. Yep. Yep. They want. Yep. And we can help them. If you've got a problem, if you've got a solution to that problem, yep. you should be doubling down at minimum on your yep. marketing spend. Yep. I have. Um, in fact, you're way above that. Um, yes. I have been focusing heavy on getting out there as much as I possibly can because now is the time. Let's ask you a question. Do you need a coach or a mentor or guidance yes. when shit's going right or when it's going wrong and you need the help? Both. Both. When, when shit's Both. going wrong. <laughs> Double your price now and then bring it back to normal later. Exactly. Ooh, I like people, it. Listen, Make it down. People, yeah. people that were on the fence before and working with me, they're coming off the fence because people want to move away from, they'll, they'll do more to move away from pain than they will towards pleasure. Yeah. They're Absolutely. feeling pain right now. And I'm Asking just, is a bigger just, motivator. Just building those relationships right now. Mm. Always I'm, address I'm the pain. Now that I have been in weeks, it's yeah. crazy. Uh, I'm well, I'm getting people from all all angles, and um, I'm having a blast. Yeah. Well, Wally, you are spot on. We are feeling the same thing in our industry, and especially being in the restoration industry, which is kind of spotlighted in all of this that's going on. Our business is exploding. 
ridiculously. Mm -hmm. And yes, people respond to the pain. And so they're coming to us and going, oh my gosh, what do we do? How do we market? How do we train? Help us. So yeah, yeah, huge. I think everything's the, the thing, same, a lot of the people, messaging changes. A lot of people are so good at doing kind of the everyday work, but they don't have that solution mindset. And so when these sorts of things happen, they're looking for those people that have a solution mindset that can give that sort of issue to, and they can be like, right, how do I unlock this? And you got to be a leader so they'll <laughs> galvanize around you. <laughs> yeah. I've seen, I've seen you put, uh, Laura, I've seen what you're putting out there, and I'm very pleased with it. And I, and I would just like to uh, mention, can Sheridan, can she stop sending me sexy pictures? <laughs> me from the group. I'm trying to concentrate here. Yeah. Send them to me. <laughs> Laura, Laura K, Laura K, if I can ask Laura K, what, what industry are you in? So I consult, um, my background is I consulted for Royals um, and kind of more like the PA side of things. But I get brought in a lot in crisis management because I did, I was in the Ebola um, uh, oh, wow. outbreak over in Africa and in the bombings wow. in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia when that happened and worked with the EOC team over there. So I often get brought in to consult when things are going shit. This is like my forte. When things right. are going crab, I'll come in and kind of say, Perfect, perfectly right, content and shit <laughs> Laura, Laura, I, I, I don't know if this is like appropriate or not, but I would so love to connect <laughs> with you in what I do in this kind of situation. My email is anisa at firehouseeducation.com. I would so love to connect with you. I'd love to do an interview with you. Happy yeah, awesome. Awesome. Laura, you're, you're, in, on, you're in the Entrepreneur's Advantage you're speaking. 30 minutes. Okay. I am. I am. And I have to say, I've been really shit. But now, see, I love this because it's, it's got time for me to calm down and sit down and catch up with life a Look, bit. we're here to help. We, the bottom line of it is, right. we are the Hogwarts of the planet. Yes. But we're here to help each other. And an entrepreneur alone dies. An entrepreneur together, we conquer shit. So Especially with a coach. Is, reach out Green. to each other. Get in touch, see how you can help each other, work with each other, and monetize that bitch. I want to say something real quick. I love every one of you guys. Absolutely amazing. We got to do this again, Steve. This is fucking amazing. Right? I got, some, I got family time on the calendar. It's time. Well, to here's the thing. Movies. You're all family. I love every one of you guys. Look, we said this nice would job. only be an hour. Do we want to do this again? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Uh, right, so we got five oh, minutes. Yeah. We got five minutes. If anyone's got a bail, that's fine. But we're planning again. I didn't know if anyone would turn up. I thought it was just going to be me and uh, this fella with the red wine. But uh, <laughs> turn up. What red wine is he drinking? That's what I want to know. What's what his red drinking? wine? Malbec. Oh. oh that's out okay. of the box. Well, that, you that's a my... little choicey. That's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Henry. I told you I can't help him. I like I'll, I'll save this for you, um, uh, Henry, if you come visit. I think we should. Okay. I got this in, nice. in uh, <laughs> Paris. Nice. Yeah. Oh, We're having this, like, stash. Dave, do this again. Those days when we could travel. Right, I know. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was talking to my brother about. I was like, dude, I'm going nuts because I'm normally on the road all the time, right. you know, traveling everywhere, doing virtual reality stuff, and everyone's like laughing about it. And then so now. Guys, 15 days. Today is 15 days. I have yep. not seen another human being in 15 days. <laughs> in they person. Have to watch. In person. Son is still in person. alive. I I'll see send my five year old son your way if you need to see another human <laughs> being. Five year old, it's on your way <laughs> for on education and everything. Walks with my dog every day. Me too. I'm sending a four year old. <laughs> now, five year old, it's, it's good. Don't worry. Your math. I'll mm, trade you a five year old uh, for an 83 year old. <laughs> hey, I've got to ask no, you this question. I'm not stupid. Uh, have any of you started watching uh, David? Shut up. You've had enough airtime. <laughs> any of you watched the uh, show <laughs> Breeders? No. no. Breeders? How many of you, and put your thumbs up, have kids? 
Yeah. How many of you like them? I watched it. <laughs> Readers is a British show. <laughs> and Laura, I'm with you. Laura. British humour, let's be blunt, is better than everyone else. I agree. Uh, I don't yeah. know. The condom king uh, thinks so too, by the way. Bakers. But Breeders talks, it's it's a very crude, don't let your kids watch it. I let him <laughs> watch it because I don't care. But <laughs> you've got to watch Breeders and it talks about it from a parent's <laughs> perspective. Breeders. It's hilarious. All the yeah. stuff they don't tell you right. before you have kids. What? So all the stuff they don't tell you before you have before kids. You have you kids. Exactly. You. <laughs> <laughs> You're in DC, right? I no, remember. I, you're safe. It's his fault. I remember I lived in a penthouse in Thailand. I had a cook, a cleaner, and a driver that had a BMW 7. All right? Nice. Very nice. And my wife said, something's missing. And we realized a few years later what it was. It was poverty. <laughs> I'm intimately no. familiar with poverty. <laughs> I didn't need to. I live in the Midwest. Hey, hey, Steve, here's, here's the future. These kids are going uh, to change the world. They are. Be careful. They're going to be in charge of your nursing home arrangements. So <laughs> oh, yeah. no. I'm okay with that. Right? <laughs> my kid tried to say that, and I was like, oh, no. Science is going to be so advanced by the time I'm old enough to need help that I don't want you taking care of me. And I was like, the ultimate balloon deflator. Like, it's what? a vicious cycle. It's a vicious. When, yeah. when they come out, everything looks like cute. It's like a little puppy dog. Every puppy dog <laughs> looks cute, and then they grow in a shit bag. So, <laughs> and it's the same concept. And the bottom Don't take line it personal, is, we're all sitting there going, well, when we're older, Henry. when we're older, that support me. Do you think he's going to come anywhere near me when I'm shitting my pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, he's not coming near you today when you're Henry, he, you were shitting your pants. He was taking care of you. Yeah, you're damn right. Damn right. Um, hey Steve, is thank God for you in this quarantine. And thank you so mm. much for creating this group tonight because this is here, the most here. Thing I've had in yes. 15 days. Steve <laughs> 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 Sims is awesome. <clears throat> I actually can't believe that anyone turned up. You know, we're. <laughs> what? I have actually, look at this. Well, you are a curiosity. I have just got a safety alert. From the uh, city of LA telling us to stay home. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Steve, you got that covered. Steve, Steve, reply back to them, no problem. I'm good. Yeah. No, I'm going to reply to our dear sir, go fuck yourself. So, <laughs> that's what I would do too. I'm going to take another selfie. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, hey, here's the thing this is something I want you to do, and then we're going to have to ring off. Okay. I want everyone to hold that drink up. <laughs> it's empty. Oh. <laughs> David, you're worse back. I haven't made it. I've been walking around. <laughs> I've been so bored. I mean, so busy. <laughs> Hang on. We got a few of them running off. Yeah, the whole thing. Get back. Good, man. Bye. Good, <laughs> man. That's the yeah, bottle. Drink up. Okay, nice. Drink up. Cheers. <laughs> well played. All right, folks. <laughs> I didn't know if this was going to work. And I am thrilled that there are people like you in this world. It makes me feel very honored. Yep. I personally raise a glass to you. We love you, Steve. Do what you do, because um, you're absolutely incredible. I'm actually, I'm awesome. actually calling because I'm part of your world. So thank you very, very much. And um, I'm kind of getting the idea we need to do this again. Oh, yes. 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 Yes, please. Come, come to these Tomorrow. Things. There's so much space <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Introverts <laughs> unite. We need an introvert unite. Well, we've got a few of us that haven't seen people for 15 days and they think I'm kind of attractive. I usually, I usually wait until about 60 days and go in on a desperate measure. That's my ploy. <laughs> how much is sexy to me right now? It's been 15 days. Oh, my goodness. It must have been 90 days when you met your wife. <laughs> no oh. alcohol. My wife, yeah. my wife was a drunk, and uh, I got her early. 
So I was very fortunate. Smart man. All right, guys. You Thank are you. amazing. Communicate yeah. with each other. You're in the same groups. Yeah, and, all right. Uh, Thank you for being part of my world, and I will uh, speak with you again. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Cheers, Thanks, everyone. Steve. Thank you. Bye. We're going to do this, Steve.